Social characteristics. In this session, we will be learning about social characteristics of adolescents, educational implications related to social characteristics. At the end of this session, you will be able to identify social development of adolescents, explain educational implications related to this. At this stage, adolescents become sex conscious. What does it mean? It means that they become aware that, that I am a boy, you are a girl and they become conscious of their own sex as well as of others. At the childhood stage, they mingle with each other, they are not bothered about all these things. But at this stage, they become conscious and all their actions are done group loyalty. This point even comes under emotional development as well as under social development because they have emotions for their group, they develop emotion for their peers, so they, they develop a loyalty towards their group. They try to follow the norms decided by the group and they adhere to the group loyalty. Develop friendly relationship. This is a stage of friendship. They like to meet people, they like to make friends, so they like to be cordial with others and form friendly relationship among their peers. At this stage, they are their emotions are not limited to themselves. They start developing emotion for the society. They want to do something for the society. And if anything happens in the society, they develop, they express those emotions for the society. For example, if, this, if they go in society and they see anyone needs help or anyone is in pain, so they try to give help or support to people. Another change which takes place at social development at this stage is social maturity. As during childhood, you know, children are not bothered what others are looking or what, how should I behave, how, what will be the reaction of others. But at this stage, adolescents become socially mature. They try to establish a significant relationship between themselves and their environment. Increase of peer influence. As we have already talked about the group loyalty, so the peer influence is very high. They get influenced by their peer, they, they listen to their peer and they follow the peer. Sometime under peer pressure, they, they try to do all the things what their peer wants them to do because they have a pressure to adhere to the norms of their peers. And they feel if they will not uh, follow the peer, then they will be out of the group. At this stage, they don't want to be treated like a child. They want themselves to be treated like an adult. You must have seen, you know, when you, when you try to scold any teenager, in front of anyone, so they don't like that. They, they want that you should treat them like an adult. They want to have their opinion. They want you to listen to them. They want to contribute in terms of ideas. At this stage, teenagers develop varied social interests. They like to party. They like to be in company with their friends. They like to enjoy. They like to go out, but only where they're friends are there. They don't like to be a part of those social functions where their family is involved. So most of the time they want to be, uh, you know, party around their friends and even they start experimenting on uh, even alcohol and smoking. Hero worship. This is a very interesting stage when they start considering someone as their role model and they try to imitate their behavior, they try to change their attitude, values 
looking at that role model. So hero worship become very common at this day. So it is very crucial that we as a teachers or parents should be aware that whom they are admiring because they are going to imitate their lifestyle, their values like their role model. So it will be advisable to you know to encourage teenagers to read the biographies of great people. As there are so many changes which takes place among adolescents, so those changes affect the, the way the adolescent start thinking and acting. And if it is not taken care properly, so that leads to a problem. So what can be done for such case? So as we have seen that there are a lot of changes uh, which are taking place at adolescent especially with respect to their social development. So when these changes takes place, even uh, you know the way they think, the way they act also changes. So it is a joint responsibility of parents and teachers to organize uh, social functions where they get, where teenagers get oriented to norms of society, how they should be behaving in their society and they get accustomed to those things. Other than that, schools should quite often arrange for excursions and trips where they don't know only about their own culture. Even we need to have some student exchange program, even we need to organize some interstate, maybe at global level exposure where students learn to understand the concept of multiculture and socialization takes place at its best. As we all are aware that nowadays because of nuclear family, the concept of socialization is not limited to parents. So the teachers also have to take some initiative where the students learn to mix up, they learn to socialize with each other. So we as a teachers need to organize some activities where, where students learn the social values through activities like we can organize some games where they learn the value of sportsmanship. We can have some debates where they learn the value of listening, accepting others opinion. We can have a seminars where you know they learn how to present their thoughts in an organized manner. Other than that we can we need to appraise their social interests because this is a stage where you know they may get fascinated to certain interest which may not be healthy for them and we need to even uh, look at the sociometry uh, where they you know we can come to know which are the isolates which are the stars and we need to develop certain competencies among them so that they are socially accepted. We have seen that at this stage adolescents start behaving differently when it comes to social area. They start behaving like adults, though they may have some conflicts, they may agree to certain moral dilemmas or they may not agree to certain things. But it is a duty of parents and school that they should start believing in the teenagers, their students and they should give them some responsibilities where they can be playing an active role in the society. This will help them to build their self-confidence and later on they can play an active role as a citizen of the country. Thank you.